Hi, I'm Salman and I'm here with a quick short video today and we're going to talk about white balance. White balance is the most important thing when it comes to color grading and because you need to get a good color grade, you need to get, you know, a good color correction. And for a good color correction, you need to have the correct white balance. So the first thing that you need to understand while doing white balance is to train your eyes in a way that it can look for that uh, you know color tint in your footage. So what exactly white balance means? White balance means that the whites in your shot need to be looking perfectly white Only then other colors are going to be balanced accordingly So if we take a look at this footage, this footage is taken from pixels and the White balance on this footage looks completely off. There's a very heavy magenta and uh, orange tint in the footage uh, we need to correct this before we color grade it. However, we are basically going to color grade it in a warm tone after this. But for that, we need to have the correct white balance. If the white balance is not correct, we're not going to get, uh, you know, good color grading going on. So let's color correct this footage first and then add the desired color grade, uh, which in our case is going to be warm tone. We can do it in two ways. We can either bring the temperature down from here and then we can try to bring the magenta down and then we can try to figure out what exactly the white balance should be or there's another easy way to do that if i come up over here and reset the node grade and let's call this white balance and what i'm going to do in this specific shot is that i'm going to use the auto white balance tool uh, which you can find right here all right you just need to select that and select a portion out of the footage that you think should be completely white. So in our case, I think this is something that should be looking completely white. So let's click on it. And in the first try, it's going to analyze uh, the whole scene and it's going to adjust the white balance, uh, the temperature and the tint for that footage. So if you come up over here, you can see the temperature it has set to minus 4000 and the tint it has set to minus 76. So this gives us a pure white balanced footage. So once this is done, let's add in another node and let's adjust the exposure a little bit in this one. So I'm just going to go to my primary color wheels and let's raise the gain a little upward and I would like to bring down the lift a little bit all right it looks good now the footage is kind of color corrected now I want to add in the tone after this so let's call this tone so as we mentioned earlier we're going to add in a little bit of a warmth in the gain somewhere around here and then I would like to bring in a little bit of a blue in the shadows just a little bit and this is before this is after so if we look at the before and after of the complete clip it's something like this all right now just to make it a little more interesting I would like to bring down the blue at the background so let's label this blue and I'm just going to use the qualifier to select the blue and we're going to use the HSL qualifier for that and first of all I'm going to blur it out a little bit so that it's quite soft let's increase the width a little bit more so that we more of that thing is selected shift h and now what we can do is that we can just simply bring down the saturation in that part because that blue was looking too off uh, to me so now the last step let's add in some vignette with the power windows and let's make the focus shift more towards her face so let me just place these around here let's add in another gradient from the other side somewhere around here and I'll go to the color wheels and instead of using other wheels, I'm just going to use the gamma because that is more consistent. And let's zoom it out. Let's make it as soft as possible. I'm just going to do something like this so that it looks more believable. Right. 
so if we look at the before and after of the footage it was something like this and we turned it to something like this and the key ingredient in this whole color grade was basically the white balance so we need to get the white balance as correct as possible if we need to you know make the tone look good if we need to make the color grade look good i hope this technique has helped you understand the core concept of white balance and how to auto correct the white balance don't forget to like the video drop me a comment down below and i will see you in the next video